Hi guys, my name is Raven Wilson and I am one of the three naturalists here at Harris County Precinct 1 Commissioner Rodney Ellis' office. So since we can't come into your classrooms like we normally do, we're going to be bringing some virtual programming right into your home. And we're going to have some animals that we're going to be able to talk about. The first animal, as you can already see, is a type of reptile and it is my snake. So just by looking at him do you think you can tell what kind of snake it is like at the back of him some people can tell better when they look at the belly if you guess corn snake then you are correct so this is a corn snake and they can normally be found in florida sometimes they can be found in louisiana and even new jersey so looking at him you can see how he's kind of wrapped around my arm right do you think he has bones in his body? He does have bones in his body. So snakes can usually have around 200 to 400 ribs that are in their body. So your ribs that are right here to protect your organs, they have the same thing. Now, if you take your hand or your fingers and you go like this, that is what snakes do. So when they're moving, they're moving each one of those ribs. And some people will say that they are rib walking. Now, one thing that's different from humans and reptiles is the way that we control our body temperature. So we are what's called warm-blooded, which means that our body temperature pretty much stays at a constant. But for my reptile, he is what you call cold-blooded. So if you're a cold-blooded animal, that means that your body temperature is controlled by whatever the environment's temperature is. So right now outside, it's maybe about 70 degrees. So what temperature do you think my snake is? He is 70 degrees. Now, if it was, let's say, 50 degrees, what temperature do you think my snake would be? 50 degrees, right? So again, if you are a cold-blooded animal, your body temperature is controlled by the environment that is around you. Now, you may be able to see my snake and some of you can actually see that he is sticking his tongue out. So what do you think he's doing when he does that? Smelling, right? So whenever they stick their tongue out, they're grabbing all little particles that's in the air and then they'll put it back inside of their mouth. So at the top of their mouth, they have what's called a Jacobson organ. So those little particles that they grab, they'll put it into their mouth and put it onto that organ. And then that is how they're able to figure out what is around them. And that is how they are able to find their food. So talking about food, what do you think my snake loves to eat? If you said rats, that is absolutely true. So they love to eat rats. Sometimes they'll eat small reptiles like lizards, and sometimes they'll even eat types of amphibians like frogs, all right? So what they'll do is they'll stick that tongue out, put it on the organ, and then figure out where they need to go. Once they actually get to the food, what do you think the next step is, right? So they're gonna strike it, and they're gonna grab it. So again, you can see how he's wrapped around my hand, right? So he has some pretty, pretty good muscles, all right? So this snake is what you call a constrictor. If you are a constrictor, that means you love to squeeze. So again, he's gonna strike at it, he's gonna grab it, and then he's gonna wrap around it really, really tight, and he will start to squeeze it. The next thing he's gonna do is he has to use his teeth. So for us, our teeth, we have a set coming straight down and we have a set coming straight up. For them, their teeth are curved backwards. So that means that whenever he wants to eat something, he'll grab it and put those teeth right in it. Is that a good thing for the animal or a bad thing for the animal? Bad thing for the animal, a good thing for him, right? So. He has those teeth curved backwards so he can be able to hold on and then he'll move those teeth a little bit slowly and that's how he'll get that animal into his mouth, okay? Now, the last thing I wanna talk to you about are the eyes. Really quickly, everybody blink. Did you blink? All right, so you just did something that my snake cannot do. So. They have one scale that goes over their eye, and then they also have scales that go all the way over their body. So if you're walking along a trail and you happen to see a snake, do you think you can tell if it's sleep? No, you cannot. 
right? So even though Miss Raven is over here and I have the animal, you should never go up to a snake or any animal that you don't know. Just always let an adult know. All right, I wish I could talk to you all day about my snake, but we're gonna have many more videos and opportunities for us to teach you about animals. So if you have any questions or you have any topics that you want me to talk about, you're gonna go ahead and email raven.wilson at cp1.hctx.next. All right, I'll see y'all next time.